Remember that portal I made accidentally? I was trying to get out to the Taiga Island area and uh, made a portal that is in, under deep ocean. So we're in the on the bottom of a cave underneath an ocean here. This is not deep ocean, but you get the idea. Anyway, I decided to set up a speed mining area. I ran into some lava over here. So I probably did this at the wrong height, but because this is proving to be a bit of a pain to deal with. Ah, the beacon reaches out to here. So this is my cutoff. And yeah, that's gonna be, a, that's gonna be a fun one to deal with there. But regardless, hello, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Not that I really need the resources, uh, but I've gotten some. I've gotten some stuff. Doing everything silk mining, so uh, not too bad. I should rearrange some of this, Dad. But regardless, um, yeah, this is a relatively nice Zen activity uh, to do while watching TV or whatever. Um, I need to continue pushing it out in all directions, but we'll figure it out. And I'm sure one of these has got to be a slime chuck, but I have yet to see any slimes. Hello. Thanks for completed the challenge subspace bubble. Okay, that's really weird because I've been through that path before. And I never got the that advancement before. This is weird. Uh, and this honestly wasn't that far from where I was before. Or was it? Oh! My, um, my speed mining area. Hmm. Interesting. I wonder if it's like... I don't know. That advancement confounds me because uh, according to the rules, uh, let's see here. It's use the nether to travel seven kilometers in the overworld. And where are we at now? We are at minus 1452. I'll have to go back to the other one. That actually, the, the numbers work out right, but I... So I've been through this portal before. I've been through the other one before. I just don't think I ever was started over there, went through that portal, walked directly to this portal and then another and came through here. Interesting. This is an area that Barb makes things is building out and it's kind of cool. It's in Extremes Hills biome. So she kept, uh, she was running around and, and kept noticing, uh, finding stuff. And she was like, why am I seeing these emerald ore? I'm like, oh, you must be in an extreme hills biome. And indeed she was. So it's kind of cool. Oh, that's that's a batch of gravel right there. So she she's making all these sort of tunnels and bridges. And I don't know if there's an ultimate plan or if it's just decorating, decorating an area. Eh, I don't want to get lost here, but I think it's pretty cool. Oh, there's a ladder. Where does this ladder go? Let's find out. Oh, it's a little dangerous. It's nighttime. There are creepers and beasties around. She's got this area pretty well lit up, so this should be safe. Anyway, uh, so this is... Oh, there's the portal. Work in progress. Not a lot. I think she's just kind of digging out to see what's around. So this is pretty cool. Keep an eye on this. I think it'll be it'll be neat. And the views from up here are kind of cool. And there are plenty of beasties around. Oh, almost. Pow. Ah, you can die. Very good. Okay, this is not what I want to show you today. So I did something that I didn't think I was going to do, and that was to activate the rest of the guardian farm. And as you can see, it's, it goes, it goes bonkers. Um, and it'll get to a point where there will be some stuff sitting on the floor down here because the hoppers on 
along here get backed up and it can't actually collect everything. So that means I need to do a couple things. I need I, I need to improve the the performance of the item elevator and the collection system. All right, so this th this thing goes and works over time. Chug 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 chug. Uh, and I I earlier I did this down here so I could get down here and actually look and see what we're in all the the hoppers that are doing the collection. Right, and I can open up all these things and I can walk on them and see what's going on down here. And that's great because this allows me to sort of manually help along the system because right now i got all this fish i don't need all this fish come on there we go um and there's probably a ton of fish in here yeah go 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 so i don't need all this fish oh i can keep that uh so the fish i the plan was just to dispose of all of it and i can do all that here and just throw it up into this chest and it'll get dispensed out into lava over there fine so um so that'll help because it takes a full dropper worth of stuff it takes about 10 minutes to uh, to to clear out that's not real great um so i want to do a couple things here uh, first off i want to look at the overflow system here Ton of fish, ton of fish, ton of fish. Oh, goodness. Yeah, that's that's not good. So when this fills up, everything else that comes this far down into the sorter will just start going out into, into nowhere, um, into the lava. And there are some things out here that I think I want to catch before that happens. So I'm going to spend a little time trying to clear out some of these fish so that I don't lose things that could be potentially helpful um, and buy me some time while I'm working on all this stuff but then I also want to come over here put a door in here this is unused empty and if I if I go and I think I can do basically duplicate this over here so there's no sorter for all these things it's just all manually oh i'm gonna put the stuff in here uh and you might ask why why do i care what uh um 1.13 i think is going to be coming out pretty shortly it sounds like that they believe Yang believes that it is feature locked even though they haven't added that many features to it it was always kind of intended to be a bug fix update anyway uh, not bug fix but sort of an internal we're gonna make it so that we can uh, make big changes in the game going forward which is all fine and dandy if I look over here I can see how much stuff is over here and I can see it flowing through that's all fine and dandy uh, the nice thing about this is that the floor here because the the Guardians pretty much come just about everywhere creates a bell curve if you can look inside the hoppers you can see um, this stuff backing up in the center and then sloping off to the sides so there will always be relatively little oh uh, relatively little over here and as we come along here you'll see some stuff flowing in oh wow it's interesting how when it sorts through the system as a whole it, it tends to just kind of uh, it tends to sort out the 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 items so when you get up over here you'll you'll find that you have hoppers I, I cleared out the hoppers not too long ago, but you'll find that you have hoppers that are filled with all just one item, completely backed up of prismian shards or whatever. So let me pull out some of those. So anyway, I'm going to go make a bunch of trap doors and let's look at our ink situation. Woo. It's actually starting to generate ink sacks now. 
Um, I guess there's enough competition of the water spaces up there to actually spawn squids. And not, you know, we get a lot of squids in the ocean around here. And if anyone else logs onto the server, this, when I had just the back half of it lit up or activated, it would just crawl to a halt, which is fine. Uh, I don't need this running all the, all the time when somebody's out here, but because we have plenty, we have plenty of, of items of materials. Um, oh, we do. That's pretty cool. So, um, but I want to I want to collect a bunch. I want to sit out here in AFK for a while and collect shulker boxes filled with this stuff. Uh, because if 1.13, I need to go test this. If 1.13 changes the way the water behaves, I think it's 1.14 that will. But if if the water flows through these uh, fence gates here all the way down, this is going to become a horrible mess. And I'm not entirely certain how to fix it. Um, so I wanted to maximize the productivity on the farm as much as possible. Uh, before 1.14 comes out, and in case this changes 1.13 before 1.13 comes out. So that's why I decided to go ahead and fill in the rest of these and uh, and just make this thing go gangbusters so that I can collect all the stuffs, especially these uh, prismarine crystals, which are probably the rarest of the bunch. Oh! Goodness, we're almost full up on prismarine shards. Okay, I've got work to do, um, but I'm not going to do it on camera. So I'm going to put in. I have. I brought some wood with me. Oops. So I can have the materials to build that door and a bunch of um, trap doors. Oh, I thought. Uh, okay, that's fine. All right, it's just gonna be a little, a little bit of work, and and then once I get that, I can start manually pulling stuff out of all these hoppers along here, except for the ones in the center. But that's fine, and that will help speed up the process of of getting everything through the sorter and all the fishies into the lava because I just don't need this many fish. Nobody does. Here's a neat little trick for you. If you hold down um, the on Windows on the Mac, it's Command key. Uh, I don't know what it's probably the Windows key on on Windows, and who knows what it is on on uh, on Linux. But uh, if you hold down the Command key and in, in your throw key, which is default Q, I switch it to P so I don't accidentally hit and throw my sword in the middle of combat. And I took off all my, I put all my stuff away and took off all my armor so I don't accidentally do that. If you hold, so I, if I hold down Command P or it would be Command Q uh, on default key binding and just move my cursor over the items in my inventory, it'll just go and throw them out a stack at a time. It's a pretty quick way of getting rid of everything um, if you've got a pool of lava around. Okay, so I clearly have the fish problem under control now. Plenty of extra bandwidth for them. How are we doing on these? Whoops. Okay, I need to start clearing out those. But I also got my little trapdoor situation set up over here. So I can actually come over and see where everything is backed up to. It's backed up to here, which is pretty far. Uh, so this is, so I can come through here and I could actually pull out specific stuff that I've, I needed more prismarine crystals. I could go pull out those and, and sort of manually load these into place so they don't have to flow all the way through the system and through the sorter. And then the next thing is I need to look at, whoops, hey, cooperate. I need to look at a better way of doing the sorter or the elevator up to the sorter. I think I'll switch it out with a glass elevator. Whoops, I don't want that. There we go. Um, so, which, and if I, I set up a, 
observer clock to drive that. I think, there we go. Uh, I think that will that will go faster enough. I feed two different hopper hopper lines into it. Not quite sure how, but have to figure out that arrangement into into a uh, dropper here instead of filling up with that stuff and then put a couple observers there. Driving it instead of checking it like this and you, or check it like this and have this uh, push a piston push the two observers in face to face i think that'll get stuff up and and just do a glass item elevator here i think it'll move stuff up into there faster and then i might want to uh, change it from being a hopper line into a water stream so i don't know i will experiment with those and see if we can make this better um worst case scenario I may take all of the hoppers past the midway point here and point them down this way and set up another elevator over here so each elevator is only handling half the farm and then I just have to figure out a clean way of getting the items from here over to the sorting system over here without overloading that there's a hopper chain that goes into it here so I may have to I don't know well we'll see Oh, I've got prismarine crystals in my pocket. Let's get these out. Boop. Very nice. Okay. So anyway, the Guardian Farm is going gangbusters. So it slowed down a little bit, but we're getting tons of stuff out of it, and it is all great. So I will. I need to go get a bunch of shulker boxes, and I need to craft up a bunch of... Uh, of all this stuff the I think it's safe I don't know that I need to keep a ton of prismine crystals I can take all of them and craft them all into sea lanterns uh, they compact pretty pretty well it takes five stacks of prismine crystals to make a stack of sea lanterns uh, I think there's no no problem in doing that because there's nothing else you can do with prismine crystals unless they add another crafting recipe to the game where you can use them for something. But at the moment, that's all they're good for. Uh, you can't even make building blocks out of them. Uh, the, this takes, you can't make, you can't compact prismarine crystals into prismarine crystal block or anything like that. There's no, um, there's no crafting recipe for it. But if I grab some of these, Now I can make sea lanterns, right? And that's the only recipe that the prismarine crystals are used for. A little frustrating, but you know, whatever. That's the way the game is. So I will, I will start working on that. We'll pull a bunch of these out, and then when I start getting these filled up, right now none of these are anywhere near capacity. I'll start packing some of these into shulker boxes. Um, to make them easier to transport. But that's it. Nighttime at the garden farm. Blah, blah, blah. That's all I wanted to show you. And uh, I'm going to be working on this for a little bit. Hope you found it at least somewhat interesting. And I will see you next time. All right, bye.